okay so now i'm going to create a screen element using two fields you can see your last name and company name <coughs> and then finish button using both cloud existing cloud for designer and new lightning flow designer so side by side i will create and show you what is the difference and how you can get the same features or you can say same flexibility that we have here here in the cloud for designer with the new lightning flow designer there are a few tips and tricks okay let me let's get started so in the left hand side you can see we have a cloud flow designer the existing cloud flow designer that we are using currently so let me drag and drop a screen element and same time let me drag and drop a screen element using this flow designer lightning flow designer so you can see in the both the both hand side the name we can say name and unique name and it's a label and api name both are the same thing so don't worry so i say lead form and i'm going to use the same ditto same for everything now <clears throat> if you see a second section you say configure frame so header and footer if you unselect the header it won't display the name and footer it won't display the button so both have separate use case i will create another video to explain it but right now no so same flexibility you have here header and footer next navigation action it allow you to select how you want to display the button so say that okay i don't want to display these two buttons so that's fine you can go ahead and say that no i don't want to display this now at the bottom you have the help sections where you can type say that hey this is a test flow and now here you we have one special feature like you want to make it bold so you can use this text editor to make it bold or you say okay so i want to check the font i, I don't like this color so i like this color that's fine you can use it now you can see if i open this there are no such things here called as this so how do we get this same feature so there are let me type first this is a test flow now if you know uh, a bit of html just go ahead and put font attribute say that blue uh, blue and you can so this is html tag if you don't know about the html don't worry go to w3schools.com and then you can just copy paste these HTMLs. but i want to use the same so if you click on the again t it will give you the code i just copy this and paste here so see everything is same just a new interface so you don't you guys don't have to worry about what's coming new or something yep this is better you can see it is easy to use visualize and now you can see the difference if i go to the add a field now you can see we have input field we have choices multi-select output and lightning now all the fields that fails for as you can see these are the <coughs> lightning component this is the lightning component and these are the native salesforce field so native salesforce will work same here and same in the lightning cloud designer so for example let's say let me go ahead and a drag and drop field here i say here this is a last name now uh, you have the default value required you can validate no not for this video help text so i can type the same help text and that enter your last name now if you want to add same color code or you can say rich text editor enable rich text editor and then you can change the color coding and everything now here you can see this is the text field and you, you, there is no lightning icon here so it is the native flow designer field so if i go here and say that last name and now you can go and validate input but no required is correct and then fill help the same concept you can apply if you know the html code just type here but just to show you just copy this and paste here we want to add one more fill i can go ahead and drag and drop another text box and say that company now salesforce also allow you to make the company is colorful so you can click on this icon and say that okay i want this this bold and let's say that this color 
So let me grab, go ahead and do this here again. So you can see this company is now. So it's a rich text editor. Now I want to do the same here. So let me go ahead and say that text. You can go here, type UMP and company, make it require. And this time you can see there is a no reach text editor. So how do we do that? So because as I said that this is a native Salesforce flow field, this is not a lightning component. Lightning components does not work in such a way that like we are going to work with this field. So I can go here and say that font, uh, you can add bold, italic and all, but I just to show you, I say that color equals to a uh, say red maybe or something whatever you like and then say bold or you want the bold so i can say b the bold tag b tag is for a bold and i can say font that's it so let me save this flow and show you how it looks when you run this so click on ok And click on OK. Now, first, before starting, you have to set the start element here. And here, you have to just this is this is the start element. You have to connect this. To save this, you have to save and say that lead form the cloud flow designer version one. And I can say this one lead form a lightning flow designer version one now you can select the type the screen flow same here now if you spend one minute to understand the flow uh, sorry the flow designer right now we have the run debug save as save as you can see here same the close button is the back button we don't have a copy paste right now maybe this is the pre-release org so maybe when salesforce release the final version you can see the a copy paste or you can see redo or undo button we don't have right now so obviously and apart from it you can see the inactive warning messages everything is same now if i go here in the resources not resources explore so you can see all the uh, item that you created so same is available in the manager so you can see everything that you created now if you click on this one for example company name field at the bottom it will show where you have like this, this property of this field and where you have used this so we have used this in the screen element called as lead form how do we do that here in sales a lightning flow designer so click on this one and click on this little arrow it will tell you okay so this api name and use it in the lead form so now on the left hand side i'm running a flow that created in cloud flow designer and in the right hand side i'm running a flow that is created using lightning flow designer you can see this is red because we have to use the red color blue and here you can see i and i copy paste the same code you can see there is no difference actually and you can see this is the test flow and if i compare this is the test flow now where there is a difference let me explain again so now to use a new lightning flow designer you don't have to use a flash player now there is no more flash player no buggy now sometimes if you have more elements here like for example if, if i copy paste and say paste it's very hard like you can see this is not comfortable now this you can able to you can able to fit you can able to small and then increase the size and this is i think this is better you can see it's very fast i have created at least 300 to 400 flow so far so uh, my experience with new flow design it is it's very good i would say like it's a very very fast in compared to uh, existing cloud flow designer so that's it for this flow section in the next section we will see how you can connect this flow element with a record create element to insert a record into salesforce thank you so now it's time to connect the form 
the screen element with a record create element so it will enter the data into salesforce so in the classic we will use record create element and here you can enter say that insert a lead and here you can select the object you can map the fill say that last name this is your salesforce fill objects field name and here we have input field like last name company name and you can save the newly created lead id into a variable now here in let me click on ok first now you can see here we have the record create element and the fast create element so you want if you want to insert multiple records then you have to use the fast create element but in the new lightning flow designer salesforce merge both record create and fast create element into one so let's see how to use it so if i drag and drop here i can say the same insert a lead now you have the option do you want to insert one record or multiple if you select this it's automatically a fast element if you select this one it is automatically a record create element so if you use the fast element here you have an option to use record collection element basically a subject collection element and if i use this one how you want to save the uh, record fails okay so you have an option you say okay uh, this one and now you can select the object lead and what will last name and then a company name and from here I can say last name the screen component and the company the screen component and if you want to store the value of newly created record ID it's here now you can connect these two and you can connect these two and save again that's it